happens to the last generation before you. You gotta make a choice. Shalom, shalom, family. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Let's do a quick audio, audio and video check. Let me know if we're good. We have good audio, good video. As soon as I see a thumbs up, I'm going to get it going. Good audio, good video. All right, let's rise. Let's face Jerusalem, brothers and sisters. You got it, brother. <laughs> brother and sister, rise, face the east. Men, uncover your heads. Women, cover your heads. Israel, blow trumpet. <laughs> in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debts and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever most high i thank you tonight for us to all come together to learn your word i ask you to please bless the speaker tonight as he speak your word and edify the people in christ's name we pray amen Amen. All praises to the Most High and His Son, Jesus the Christ. All praises for another day. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Okay. Uh, as as y'all know, Tuesday is going to be uh, a time where we reflect on what's going on within our society, what's going on around us. It's important that we we watch. It's important that we, you know, we're mindful of the things that's going on around us. Okay? So the title of today's class is What's Going On? 
Mandemics. Mandemics. Okay. What's a mandemic? A mandemic is a man made virus or outbreak. Okay. A man made virus or outbreak. Now, as we're rolling into the next phase of the pandemic, known as COVID-19, uh, I want to I want to show you all a few things. I want to let you, I, I want to open your eyes to a few things that's going on. But first and foremost, I, I was meditating on this scripture, um, the scripture in Deuteronomy 28. Let's get that real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 61. I was meditating on this scripture because. This thing is, it, it, when, when you hear the verbiage, when you hear the, the meaning, when you hear what's, uh, what, what's spoken here, it's a reason why it's written the way it's written, okay? Deuteronomy 28, 61? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of the law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So every sickness and plague that's not written in the book of this law is going to be brought upon us until it overtakes us. So what is this saying about these different diseases, these different sicknesses? They're here because of our iniquity. But watch this. We always read verse 61, but we never go here. Jump to verse 58. Verse 58. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law, that are written in this book. So, that thou so it's stipulations. If you will not observe to do all the laws within this book, all the laws in this book, it's stipulations written here. If you don't keep these laws, like a lot of us like to negate or a lot of us like to push to the side, if you don't keep these laws, come on. That thou may fear the Lord glorious and fearful name that the Lord thy God. Read. Then the Lord will make the plagues wonderful. The Lord will the make plague. the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. The Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. Whose plagues are going to be great? Ours. Whose whose sicknesses are going to be great? Ours. I posted something on Facebook about the the, the uh this disease or this plague right here stopping the pilgrimage over in Mecca. OK, it's slowing down, man. The most high is masterful in his doings. It's slowing down everything. It's putting a halt to everything. It's shutting down cities and countries and states. It's shutting down everything, man. OK, and why? Because of these plagues are upon our people. Thy great plagues. It says the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, masterful. Come on. And the plagues of thy seed. Even great plagues and long continuous and sore sickness and long continuous. Long continuance. It's going to be long ongoing plagues. And it says sore sickness, sore sicknesses. So these plagues, these different plagues, these different um, diseases, these viruses, these bacteria, all these things were created to buffet us. I want you to understand that all these things were created to buffet us. Okay, wonderful plagues. So it says bringing forth sore sickness and of long continuance. These things are going to span for long periods of time. I'm, I'm going to show you. all I'm going to explain to y'all some man-made diseases that y'all might not even understand exist because of this nation or because of us. Okay, and us sinning. And these plagues primarily affect us in particular. OK, a lot of these diseases that's created, these man-made diseases, they're created and tested primarily on us. Y'all seen the syphilis uh, given to us during the, uh, the, the Tuskegee experimentation. OK, these things were created to see how it kills us. The smallpox blankets that was given to 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 the, to the northern kingdom, the so-called uh, uh, native Indians. OK, to kill them off. They were passing them smallpox blankets. Killing millions of our people. So don't don't think for one second this 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 COVID thing is, is not about you. It's about us. But I'm going to show you all some 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 craftiness within it. Some some things to, uh, that, that need to be established as far as us in the lack of the laws being kept by us. Therefore, these plagues being brought forth. 
great plagues with sore sickness. Read on. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the disease of Egypt. So all the diseases that, that plagued Egypt is going to come upon us. All the sickness and uh, uh, disease that, that, that came about to destroy Egypt, we're going to get those things. All right, come on. Which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Read. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them would the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So these plagues were sent to be brought upon us until we be destroyed. How, destroyed how, how so? How so? Let's see. Read the next verse. Watch this. And ye shall be left through in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven more multitude for multitude because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. So because we wouldn't obey the voice of the Lord thy God, we're going to be left few in numbers. What are these diseases meant to do? Leave us few in number. When we were as the sand of the seas, the stars of heaven, innumerable. Now we're going to be able to be numbered. <laughs> the most High is going to kill us. He's going to destroy us. Why? Because we didn't keep his laws. Why? Because we did not hearken unto his voice. Now these things come upon us for a reason. And they're specifically tied to us. Okay? They're specifically tied to us. But the disease that the most High brought upon us was brought upon us by who? Who's, who's bringing these diseases upon us? Who's at fault? We, because we didn't keep the most high law. We are. We are at fault. Okay? So, by the hands of the nations, scientists, the same smiths that make the weapons of destruction, they're making the same weapons of disease. Okay? They, they're making the same weapons of disease. All right? Now, these diseases were supposed to destroy us for a time to leave us small in number. We read that. I hope y'all follow me. We read that. These diseases are supposed to make us small in number. Why? So the righteous of our people can stand up and keep these commandments. Okay? But but some nations, some nations, some nations, they, they, they go above and beyond in their evil. That's why Esau in particular, Esau in particular, they went above and beyond the measure that the Most High God put them to bring upon us. That's why they're going to have to be utterly destroyed off the face of this earth. Okay, the devices that that they create, they're not ordained. Majority of them aren't ordained of the Most High God. Okay, they went above and beyond any nation trying to destroy us. They want to get rid of us. They want us gone. Just to be clear, but let's understand something about those devices. Go to Job chapter five. Job chapter five. Read verse twelve for me. Job it, chapter five. I'm sorry. Don't don't get it twisted. It's our fault that these these plagues and things have come upon us. The the, the sins of our foreparents, the lack of the keeping of the laws, the lack of the obedience to the voice of the Most High God. These this is the reason or rationale why these things are brought upon us. But like I said, some nations went above measure in in meeting out this this just this judgment from the Most High God. Okay. But read uh, 5 and 12, please. Job chapter 5, verse 12. Mm -hmm. He disappointed the devices of the, the crafty. So he disappointed the, the devices of the crafty. Those that will uh, uh, attempt to, because Esau wants to destroy us all. They don't want to just destroy a remnant to leave a number that could be measured. No, they want to <laughs> go on out the face of the earth. Okay. That's why, that's why the scripture talks about them when, when someone gathers grapes. They don't gather all the grapes. They gather just enough. No, they, they want everything. They want to destroy us to the point where we're off the face of this dag on earth. That's why they're working hard. They're, they're working overtime to accomplish this thing. Okay? Through much crafty, craftiness, through much subtlety. Okay? But the Lord is disappointing the devices of the crafty. Those things that they try or attempt to do, it's going to be turned on their own head. The thing, because think about this, uh, uh, autism that comes from uh, 
that comes from those those shots and things of that nature, okay? But they're giving them to their own people, so their own their own nation is affected by it. All right, all these things that that they try to kill us with, it it's affecting their own nation. Then now it's a fight against autism. Let's walk against autism. <laughs> Every time it's something that is against us and it backfires. Oh, now they're putting forth an effort to find a cure. They're putting forth an effort to benefit them. I want y'all to be, I, hey, one, one key thing I want y'all to look at in examining what's going on in society is what they tend to do, their traits, how they maneuver, okay? Y'all just start to see these things. Lord's will, our eyes are open to what they're doing, okay? Read on. Be disappointed the devices of the crap so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So he did, he disappointed the devices of the crafty, them attempting to kill us, the scientific measures put in place to, to destroy us utterly, right? It says, so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. They don't have the power to destroy us. They don't have the power to utterly wipe us out, okay? That's what they want to do. The most High God ain't giving them that power. Cause as we just read, a lot of us gotta die, but it's a small, it's a small number that has to be brought forth. Okay, read read the next verse. He take it the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried ahead long. So he take it the wise in their own craftiness. So they're gonna fall in their own craftiness, and it says the counsel of the forward. Is carried headlong. Let's get an, let's get some understanding on that. Go to Psalms thirty three real quick. This this is this is the uh, this is the understanding of of, of of Job right here. Psalms thirty three, and I want verse ten. Psalms chapter. What you said again? Psalms chapter thirty three and verse ten. Psalms chapter thirty three, verse ten. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the of the heathen to not. So the counsel of the heathen, even though they, they 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 sit and bring forth crafty counsel, that Psalms 83, it says he bring that counsel to not the counsel of the heathen. Okay? They they're not gonna do their will, they're gonna do his will. Everybody does the will of the most high God. Okay? It was their responsibility to do what? To buffet us, to to uh to correct us, to be the sword. To be the rebuke of the Lord because we broke the commandments of the Most High God. Everything goes right back to that. Okay? But it says, the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. So the things that they sit in counsel to do, all those things is outside of, of, of the realms of what they're able to do or the power that they've been given to do. He bring those things to not. Come on. He make it the device of the people of none effect. So he make the devices of those people of none effect. So it's some things, listen, to, to, just to be clear, the Assyrians, they could have they brought forth far greater uh, uh, judgment upon us than Esau. They could have dealt with us tre more treacherously than Esau. That was, a bloody, that was a bloody captivity right there. But guess what? Esau had to do more so that Obadiah can come, <laughs> that prophecy of Obadiah can come to pass. Okay. Uh, the, the prophecy against them can come to pass, man. All right. Now, a lot of these 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 uh, pandemics or mandemics, as we're gonna call them, uh, they come by way of uh, the nations who control our food. They control our, our consumption of drink. They can they control everything, every aspect of our lives. They're controlled by them. Okay, the by the the foods that we eat, the things that that's defiled. In regards to the foods that we eat, I was showing the brothers and sisters what actual bananas look like. They was like, "Man, I didn't, I didn't know bananas looked like this." Bananas has used to have huge seeds in them things. Okay, bring it forth the understanding that cucumbers used to be poisonous. It's poison, poisonous cucumbers, but they were cultivated over the course of time by good old, good old Esau, your oppressor. Okay, in the nations. They start intermingling seed and things of that nature, making vegetables and stuff that they wanted to bring forth. That's not how the most I <laughs> created them things, but they made them as they wanted to bring them things forth or how they wanted to eat them. 
The cucumber today is not the cucumber our foreparents used to eat. The one, not the ones they was talking about coming out of Egypt. It's not the same thing. Okay? The, the milk and the honey, the goodness of the milk and the honey that our foreparents ate back then is not the same milk and honey that we eat today. Okay? It wasn't no pasteurized and, you know what I'm saying, mass, it wasn't no mass produced milk and things of that nature. It was from the source. It was fresh. All right? But when you think about the foods and the things like that that uh, they control, if they control your food, what does that mean? They can control your body, what you put in it. Okay? They can control based upon what, how they maneuver the foods, what they inject into the foods can determine your lifespan. Okay, they can determine how, determine how sick you get. Well, you got to come to them to get medicine to, so that they can sustain you. All It's a big circle, man. Big circle. And then they have uh, uh, bioterrorism <laughs> where they create viruses and bacterias that's completely contrary to what, you know what I'm saying, what the Most High God created. They create these things. They have scientists creating these things. Matter of fact, hey, Ben Zion, can you pull up? Can you pull up the first, uh, the first article? We're gonna look at, we're gonna look into this, and then I'll, and then I'm gonna share with y'all something that the president, uh, the former president of Iran, spoke about. Now this is this is bioterrorism. I, I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with uh, bioterrorism, uh, but bioterrorism is terrorism involving the intentional release or dissemination of biological agents, right? These agents are bacteria, viruses, insects, fungi, or toxins. It may be in a naturally occurring or a human modified form in much the same way in biological warfare. So I don't, I don't know if y'all understand this or not, but COVID-19 was a creation of man. It's a man-made or man-modified virus OK, now they're saying it's a bacteria. It's a man-made virus or bacteria that was given and spread amongst us. That's the direct definition of bioterrorism. OK, it's the intentional release or dissemination of biological agents. And this, my brothers and sisters, is what's going on today as we enter another lockdown because of this bioterrorism. OK, it says, furthermore, Agribusiness is vulnerable to anti-agricultural attacks by terrorists and such attacks can seriously damage economy as well as consumer confidence. Uh, scroll down for me. I want you to go to the types of agents, the categories. It says type A, type B, and type C. Category A. These high priority agents pose a risk to national security and can be easily transmitted and disseminated, uh, disseminated. Okay, so these things are easily transmitted, easily given, and easily disseminated. So one is called rabbit fever or tularemia, uh, tularemia, tularemia. <laughs> but you can't say that five times fast. Okay, so it says. It says uh, it has a low fatality rate if treated, but can severely incapacitate. This disease is caused by this, that bacterium. Y'all see that word? I, I can't pronounce that thing. <laughs> Francilia tularis bacterium. It can be contracted through contact with fur, inhalation, ingestion or of contaminated water or insect bites. Now, this, this is man-made. Scroll down. Anthrax. Anthrax is a non-contagious disease caused by the spore-forming bacterium Bacillus anthractus. The ability of anthrax to produce with, within small spores or bacilli of bacterium makes it readily permeable to porous skin and can cause abrupt symptoms within 24 hours of exposure. The dispersal of this pathogen among densely populated areas is said to carry less than 1% mortality rate. So they would, they would actually put this anthrax in letters. Y'all remember, they were sending anthrax in letters and things of that nature. Okay? Because it, was, it will kill you. <laughs> it will kill you. If you breathe it, if, you do, if, you, uh, if it gets on your skin or anything, because it says uh, it's permeable to porous skin. So it, it can get through your skin. 
Okay? These are the things that they create and they test on us. These are the things that's created. Okay? That they that that they uh they let out into society just to see how they uh how they how how the people will react to it, just to see how it affects certain certain types of people. But first and foremost, we can't forget Deuteronomy 28, 59 through 62. Okay? A lot of these things were created because of our wickedness. Don't forget that. All right. Um, scroll down. Smallpox. Y'all, y'all remember smallpox, right? This is used in bioterrorism. So when we think about terrorists, who's the number one terrorist on this daggone earth? Your good old friend Esau. What did he do with these this smallpox? The smallpox virus. He let the smallpox virus upon the so-called natives and it killed millions of them. OK, millions upon millions of them. It gave they gave these blankets out and it killed hundreds of millions of our people, man. It says smallpox is highly is a highly contagious virus. It is transmitted easily through the atmosphere. It has a high mortality rate, 20 to 40 percent. So 20 to 40 percent of the people that get this, they die. You understand what I mean? If you can track smallpox, now think about this during a time where science hadn't caught up with with uh, with, with the bioterrorism. Okay, uh, the the so-called natives they weren't never in contact with Esau like that. So once those smallpox came about, it just it wiped through their whole society. All right, wiped through the whole society. We were destroyed. But we were once great in number, we were small in number. That's what the Bible is talking about. Okay? And for everybody to say Northern Kingdom, uh, uh, the so-called natives and Hispanics aren't of the Northern Kingdom, you bugged out your mind if you don't understand this. Okay? It says, as a biological weapon, smallpox is dangerous because of the highly contagious nature of both the infected and their pox. Also, the infrequency with which vaccines are administered among the general population. Uh, smallpox occurs only in humans and has no external hosts or vectors. So it's completely, it's, it's a completely biological weapon. So they inject you. So when you take your smallpox shots, they're injecting you with biological weaponry. Think about that for a second. Now you're, you're being injected with biological weapons. Come on, man. Botulinum toxin, the neurotoxin. Botulinum, okay, it causes botulism. It says it's, a de it's the deadliest toxin known to man. So remember, they create viruses, bacteria, toxins, things of that nature. So they sit in their labs and create these things. This is the deadliest toxin known to man. And it's produced by the bacterium clostridium botulinium. Okay. Botulism causes death by respiratory failure and paralysis. The toxin is readily available worldwide due to its cosmetic applications and injections. So anybody can get this. Okay. The black plague or bubonic plague. Plague is a disease caused by, this plague is the disease caused by Yersinia pestis bacterium. Rodents are the normal host of the plague. So they created this plague and it affects rodents who would in turn bite us. Okay. Or the fleas that will bite us. All right. It says rodents are the normal host of, of the plague. And the disease is transmitted to human by flea bites and occasionally by aerosol in the form of pneumonic plague. So an aerosol can spray on you will give you the bubonic plague. Do y'all see that? <laughs> they take a damn aerosol can and spray you like, like they spraying Lysol or something and hit you with that plague. This is how fast an outbreak can start. This is how fast a pandemic or mandemic can start. All right. The disease has a history of use in biological warfare dating back many centuries. So what does this tell you about these people? They have a history of biological warfare against us. A history. If you know anything about the Black Death, 
Why are they call it the Black Death? They trying to kill all you black bastards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this disease was for us, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all got to open your eyes to what's going on. All these viruses, these plagues, these diseases, these toxins, they were created directly to kill us. Okay? Directly to get us all, get us all, to get us the hell up out of this thing. Uh, the next one, viral hemographic fevers. And we're only in, in category A. We ain't even got the B and C. We're in category A, okay? Viral uh, hemorrhagic fevers. It says these, uh, this includes hemorrhagic fevers caused by members of the family uh, Filoviridae. It says Marburg virus and Ebola virus. That Ebola, that sounds familiar, don't it? That Ebola just was popping not too long ago. It's funny how the Ebola just was major, and now it's COVID-19 that's major. Y'all don't understand what's going on? And, and how quick the Ebola just disappeared? How did Ebola just disappear like that, man? The Ebola just disappeared out of thin air. It was, it was the hottest topic, SARS, the bird flu, all those things. They were hot topics. Now, all of a sudden, you don't hear nothing about the bird flu. You don't hear nothing about SARS or Ebola. Cause it didn't affect us like they thought it would. See, Ebola, they, hey, they say Ebola didn't even affect the black people. They find, so they found a cure real quick. Y'all remember that? They found a cure instantly. Then everybody started getting cured of Ebola. Okay, y'all need to. Pay, we really need to pay attention to what's going on. Open our eyes to what's going on. Okay, it says Ebola virus disease in particular has caused high fatality rates. Ranging from 25 to 90 percent, 25 to 90 percent. Think about that. 25 percent to 90 percent, almost 100 percent of the people to get this die. Damn. With the 50 percent average. So you, if you get Ebola, you have a 50 percent chance that you're going to die. 50-50. Hey, it's 50-50. It's a flip of a coin. No cure currently exists. We know that's a lie. They made a cure for Esau when they got the <laughs> when they got the Ebola when it didn't affect us. It says no cure currently exists, uh, although vaccines are in development. The Soviet Union investigated the use of filovirus for biological warfare. Hmm. Uh, death from Ebola virus disease is commonly due to multiple organ failure and hypovolemic shock. Marburg virus was first discovered in Marburg, Germany, hence the name. No treatments currently exist. And that Marburg virus, that was biological warfare done to the, to, uh, done to the people in Marburg, Germany. Okay. No treatments currently exist aside from supportive care. The uh, arena virus have a somewhat reduced uh, case fatality. So it's, it's no longer between 25 and 90 percent. Okay. Uh, compared to diseases caused by filovirus, but are more widely distributed. So these diseases are more widely distributed than most, chiefly in Central Africa and South America. Where are we located primarily? Central Africa, South America. So it's targeting everywhere that we are. Everywhere that we are is targeting them. Scroll down for me. Category B. Some of these things we never heard of. Okay, someone we haven't heard of. I'm going to run through them quickly. Uh, brucelliosis, epicillin toxin, food safety threats like sal uh, salmonella, oh, staphylococcus, E. coli. All these things are man-made. These things are man-made. <laughs> okay, when they say wash, don't wash your chicken, you might get uh, salmonella poisoning. Why are you getting the salmonella poison from chicken? Who put it in the chicken? <laughs> they did. Why the hell they put it in the chicken? Because that's what you black people like to eat. <laughs> okay. So those food safety threats, man-made. Glanders, meliodosis, psittococcus, Q fever, ricin. Okay. That's a toxin 
from castor beans. That thing is deadly. Abrin toxin, Staphylococcus, typhus, and viral encephalitis. Okay, alpha virus, for example, Venezuela equine encephalitis. Okay, these diseases. It says water supply threats, vibrochloria. These things were were created. Uh, highlight that vib vibrochloria under water supply threats. These are pathogens is putting our water. The bacterium's natural habitat is brackish or salt water where they attach themselves easily to chitin containing shells of crabs, shrimps, and other shellfish. Some strains of V. Chlora, chlorea cause the disease cholera. Okay? They cause the disease cholera. All right? How do you get this disease? It says, which can be derived from consumption of uncooked or raw marine life species. Who's eating, who's eating those marine life species? We've learned to eat them things like a champ, haven't we? Okay. Uh, go back. Class C, knife and virus and hantivirus. So, uh, scroll down, scroll down, scenarios. It says, there are multiple considerable scenarios how terrorists might employ biological agents. It's hilarious that they're saying terrorists might uh, <laughs> deploy these agents where it was the people writing this stuff that actually deployed these agents. Okay. Um, it says, such enclosed spaces. Uh, let me see. In 2000, tests conducted by various U.S. agencies showed that Indoor attacks in densely populated spaces are much more serious than outdoor attacks. Such enclosed spaces are large buildings, trains, indoor arenas, theaters, malls, tunnels, and similar. Contrameasures against such scenarios are building architecture and ventilation systems engineering. Uh, sewage was spilled out into rivers, da 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 So these things, it's easy. Bottom line, the scenarios is telling you it's easy to release these or employ these biological agents anytime, anywhere, indoors, they're more effective. How do they know it's more effective indoors? Because they've deployed these things indoors and they know how effective they are. Get me uh, the synthetic virology, virology, okay? Synthetic virology is a branch of virology engaged in the study and engineering of synthetic man-made viruses so synthetic virology y'all write this down is the study and of, of engineering of synthetic man-made viruses y'all might want to take a look at this uh the synthetic virology because it'll let you know how these viruses are created okay how these viruses are created so it's, it's countries making these viruses to use them in bioterrorist attacks Okay, in bioterrorism. All right. Uh, scroll down for me. Uh, let me see. Let me see. It says uh, advances in genome sequencing technology. Let me see. The first man made infectious viruses generated without a natural template were polio. You see where it says three? The number three right there, Ben Zion? Go, go up. No, no, no. Scroll back down. Right there. Under constructing de novo synthetic viruses. Right. So this is. Um, let me see. So this is in that, that publication right there. Scroll back up. What you do? This is in that publication, synthetic viruses. It says the first man-made infectious virus generated without any natural template were of the polio virus. In the X174 bacterial phage. Now, do y'all know what polio is? Y'all know what polio is? It's a old, polio is an old virus. We used to get polio shots way back when. It's an old virus. That was one of the first, first viruses generated without a natural template. So it's completely man-made, polio. Okay, and you get your polio vaccines and you're injecting yourself with that bio bioterroristic uh, uh, organisms. All right. It says with synthetic live viruses, 
It is not whole viruses that are synthesized, but rather their genome at first, both in the case of DNA and RNA viruses. So they, they, they actually take the genome uh, and create this virus. And then they construct the virus and they piece the virus together however they want to piece it together. So they can create any type of virus. This is what this is letting you know. Any virus, they can create it. One thing that y'all got to understand, too, they put patents on these viruses. So whoever creates the viruses or bacteria or what have you, you can actually go back and trace the patent for who created that actual virus. It's like me creating a, a, a car or a, a, a part for an engine or something. If I create the part, I have the patent for it. OK, so you can go back and you can fact check who created this thing. Who created this, this virus? And what did it, where did the origin of this virus begin? Okay? All these things can be searched out, man. That's the beauty of the internet. That's the beauty of the internet today. All these things can be searched out. But I just want y'all to understand where these viruses and stuff come from. Okay? These things are completely man-made. Just like COVID-19. Now, go ahead and, go ahead and end, that, end that real quick. I want to read this letter from the ex-president of Iran. The ex-president of Iran. I'm gonna show y'all something. Y'all see that right there? Now this is this is from the ex-president, ex-president of Iran. It says, in the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate. And this is what he tweeted. This, this, was, a, this was a tweet from, from the brother uh, Ahmadinejad. Okay, I'm going to try to make it bigger. I'm going to try to make it bigger. I'm going to try to make it bigger. It says, greetings and best regards and wishes for your success and fulfilling the sacred commitment of protecting the health of human society. You very well know, this is his letter to the World Health Organization, WHO. He said, you very well know that the COVID-19 virus is sweeping the nations. The calamity emerged from China and it has so far hit 40 nations, including Iran and besides widespreading and rising damages in terms of both human lives and materially has distorted the daily lives of a large part of the world people while its future and aftermath is yet under question. It is possibly, it is a possibility that the weakness or failure of the part of the state officials in some countries in performing their healthcare duties vis-a-vis -vis people has had an effect on the size of the spread and the damage caused by the epidemic, which is, matter, which is a matter to be judged by nations. But the main responsibility of production and distribution of the virus by the laboratories that produced it. Do y'all see that? But the main responsibility of production and distribution of the virus by the laboratories that produced it. What is Ahmadinejad trying to tell y'all? They said it all. This brother dropping down. He dropping some good now. <laughs> He said, this is, he said, which is a matter to be judged by nations, but the main responsibility of production and distribution of the virus by the laboratories that produced it. And those perpetrating a biological war on nations should never be overlooked. Nowadays, the Iranian nation, despite the sacrificial efforts of its medical health care and logistics staff, in fighting a very wild and invasive phenomenon, he called it wild and evasive, he says it's suffering heavy damage and cost. But it's probable and predictable that much greater casualties and economic damages will hit many nations in the near future. Why can, why can he say this with such certainty? Because he understands this is a product of laboratories who produced these viruses and distributed these viruses. He says, therefore, Based on the importance of the issue, you and your reverent organization are expected in the fulfillment of your of your important mission. Let me get part two. Give me a second. Let me let me see if I can make it bigger. It 
establishing and protecting the health of the human society to put on the agenda. So he's asking the World Health Association to put these things on the agenda. Why? Because they are fully aware of who produced and who distributed this virus, COVID-19. Okay? So he's saying they should be distributing or establishing the, the, the following. Equipment, pharmaceuticals, and therapy aids for countries hit by the virus and implementing higher level and more effective global measures and controls in order to stop the further spread of the disease, especially for weaker states. Immediate identification. Look at verse. Look at two. I said verse. <laughs> look at part two. Immediate identification of the lab that produced and the elements that spread the virus, as well as other centers that supported the biological war and identifying the perpetrators to the global community. This is what the president of Iran, the former president of Iran, is asking. These two things are needed. Because they know that these, this virus was created in the lab. Okay? And it was distributed as an act of biological war. Okay? He tweeted this, by the way. If you go look up uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, you can see his tweet. I just took snippets from his tweet. I just took the letter that he sent to the World Health Organization. Okay? He wants immediate identification of the lab that produced and the elements that spread the virus as well as other centers that supported the biological war. So he wants to know who created it, where it originated, and who helped spread this thing. Okay? It says, needless to say, that transparent, public, and unbiased dissemination of information regarding the perpetrators of the anti-human crime is an important factor in controlling the anti-human weapon what is COVID-19? An anti-human weapon, a biological or bioterroristic weapon. He said, I have no doubts that with the public mobilization of the nations and governments and the human society, the criminals will be isolated. <laughs> He's calling them criminals. The criminals will be isolated. And this will immune the humans from the ill wishers of transgressions and homogeny. I pray for your prosperity and health to the Almighty, as well as uh, for all people who spare no effort on a path to serve the human society. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, former president of the Islamic Republic of Iran. I hope y'all see that thing, man. <laughs> I hope y'all understand. It. I hope y'all see and understand what's going on. Hope y'all understand and see what's going on. That right there, that's some heavy stuff, man. That's some heavy stuff. Uh, he's he's letting you know, for those that don't understand what, what, what we just read, he's letting us know that this virus was produced. It was solely produced in a... Uh, hold on a second. Okay, he's saying that this virus was produced in a, in a lab and they need to identify who produced that thing. What do you think about that, Ben Zion? <laughs> you know who produced it. You know, you, know, he, you know exactly what happened. You know what's going on. So he knows exactly He knows who, exactly what's happening. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows who produced it. Created. Huh? And he know who created it. He know who created it. He, <laughs> hey, and he calling them, he's called, what, what we call them criminals? He called them all kinds of stuff, man. All kinds of stuff. What do you think about that thing, uh, Uzziah? I don't know. It's wild, bro. It's wild. <laughs> all this stuff created in the lab. Okay? Just like your food. Our food. Where is our food created? It's created in the lab. Okay? Why is our food created in the labs? Why are these diseases created? Remember, we read earlier in Deuteronomy 28 to destroy us, not to completely destroy us, okay, but to destroy us because of our iniquity, all right? And the only time they take up arms to say, listen, we need to march for this or we need a cure for this or a cure for that is when it affects the other nations, okay? But let's see why our food is modified, okay? Because that's bioterrorism as well. Watch this. Go to Ezekiel 4. 
Ezekiel 4, I want you to start at verse 9. Yes, sister, in America. <laughs> Stuff created in the lab. The sister said, kids don't even get chicken pox no more. I don't know. I, I know uh, I had a cousin that just got chicken pox. Not too long ago. You ready? Yes, sir. Ezekiel 4. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentil and millet and fetch and put them into one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lay upon thy side. 390 days shall not eat thereof so for 390 days ezekiel was to eat of these these things okay the lentils the millet the beans the barley um okay and he would eat them in measure and he was told to prepare put all these things together and make bread right now ezekiel's life much like many of the other prophets life was symbolic of the plight of israel okay just keep that in mind but read on and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight. Twenty shekels a day, from time to time shalt thou eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of a hen. From time to time shalt thou drink. So our, our food and our water, we're going to eat them by measure. That's how they're going to be distributed to us, right? Read on. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of the man in thy sight. So not only will we eat our bread in measure, we got to eat our bread with human dung in it. <laughs> Imagine that. You go use the restroom, and you got to make your bread with the restroom dung. The the the, the doo doo that you just <laughs> you just woke up, okay. That's how you gotta eat your bread. Come on. And the Lord said, even thus shall thou children of Israel eat the defiled bread among the Gentile, whither I will drive them. So our food that we eat amongst the Gentiles is compared to dung. It's compared to dung. Y'all understand that, right? The food that we eat amongst the Gentiles is compared to us eating human feces. Okay, doo doo. So to, <laughs> just to be clear, all the food we eat here. So even when you think you're eating healthy, your, our food is still compared to us eating dung, the human dung. Okay, why? Because it's, first and foremost, majority of the food is mass produced and genetically modified. All right? Majority of the food that we eat is not of, of the most high. It's from man-made stuff. Okay? They would take, they would take something like a, a deadly or poisonous cucumber, mix it with a few things, cultivate it, change its, its, its molecular structure, and then, and then create seed that will bring forth those things that they created within their lab. That's how this nation works. Okay. Read on. Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, my soul has not been polluted. For from my youth up, even till now, have I not eaten of that which dieth of himself, or is torn in pieces. Neither came thou there abominable flesh into my mouth. So he's he's quoting he's quoting Leviticus uh seven, Exodus twenty two. Okay. Let the Lord know. Listen, I kept these laws. I I never did I never uh ate anything that died of itself. I never ate anything that was torn in pieces. Neither came there any abominable flesh in my mouth. He didn't eat anything abominable. Okay? He was clean. This brother ate all clean foods. That's what he's telling you. But he was tasked to bake his barley with man's dung. That's unclean. Come on. Then said he unto me, Lo, I have given the cow dung for man's dung, 
and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. He said, all right, don't eat, don't eat man's dung. You can eat cow's dung. You know, because cow is a clean animal. <laughs> cow is a clean animal. So, hey, you can go ahead and eat cow's dung instead of man's dung. Since she didn't eat anything abominable. <laughs> hey, the most high funny, man. The most high funny. But that was going to be, again, it says even thus, meaning that was symbolic of us eating our foods defiled in the lands that we were scattered. Okay? We ate our defiled foods in each of the lands that we were scattered. And we definitely eat our, our defiled foods here. Okay? But we got to understand all this sickness, all these plagues, all these viruses, all these toxins, all these neurotoxins, all these deadly things came about. Why? First and foremost, because we sinned against the Most High God. We would not keep the laws and hearken unto his voice. That's first and foremost. That's paramount, something that we got to understand. But secondly, it's nations we understand that go above and beyond measure. This nation in particular to try to destroy us all. The most I ain't about that. So those, those things that they're trying to do, it's not going to work. Those devices are not going to prosper in their hands. Okay? And, but we also got to keep in mind, if you want healthy, if you want health, uh, a healthy lifestyle, good estate, okay, eat in moderation. We, we understand that. But first and foremost, give me Wisdom of Solomon 16 real quick. We got to understand this. We know we always, I did a class on health and eating in moderation and things of that nature. But this right here, Wisdom of Solomon 16, this is what we got to understand right here. Because the way that got us into this is going to be the way to get us out of this. Understand that. The way that got us into this, the ways that got us into this situation is going to be the way to get us out of it. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon Chapter 16, verse 12. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health. But, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. So what, what restored our foreparents in the wilderness back to health? When they looked upon, when they was bit with the fiery serpents and looked up at the uh, the serpent of brass, it was the word of the Lord that healed them. It was no mollifying plaster. It was no medicine that healed them. That's why a lot of y'all brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, y'all look to the medicine before you look to the word of the Most High God. That's to your detriment. Okay, that's to your detriment. All right, you need to look to the Lord first. You need to look to the word of the Lord first. That's what healed our foreparents. That's the example that the most I showed us. That's what healed us in the wilderness. Okay? The word of God. The same word we reject. The same laws that we reject that got us the, the death that was brought upon us. So the same way that we were destroyed is going to be the same way that we're healed by keeping the word of God. Okay? Okay? I hope y'all. I, I hope everybody understand that thing. All right, let's go from there. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Let's go to uh, Sirach. Let's go to Sirach real quick. Let's go to Sirach. Uh, chapter one and verse eighteen. Sirach chapter 1 verse 18. The fear, is the, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom. So if you fear God, you'll have a crown of wisdom. You'll be able to speak. You'll be able to act. You'll be able to move and endure in regards to wisdom. That's the crowning of wisdom right there. Establishing of wisdom. Come on. Making peace and perfect health to flourish. So the fear of the Lord making peace and perfect health to flourish. Why? Because you're going to hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You're going to hearken unto his word. And you're going to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. If you're wise. You understand? And it's going to bring forth peace. And it says, perfect health shall flourish. Perfect health shall flourish. 
Okay? So by us not hearkening to the voice of the Lord thy God, every sickness and every plague was brought up to us. So to fix that, it's to hearken unto the word of the Most High God. Don't that seem simple? Don't that, that sounds simple, right? Sounds like an easy fix. Don't do what you did from the beginning. Makes sense. <laughs> See, but this this hard to, to 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 the foolish. Okay, this this wisdom right here is too deep for 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 the foolish man. All right, we understand where the sicknesses come from. I showed you that. Okay. We understand why the sickness came upon us. We showed you that according to the scriptures. Deuteronomy 28. 58 down. Okay. How to return back from that, that sickness and that plague. The fear of the Lord. The keeping of the commandments. The hearkening unto his, his voice. Okay. Believe it or not. That's the answer to a lot of our woes. That's the answer to a lot of our, to, to all of our woes. All of our, 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 our troubles. Keeping the commandments of the Most High God, returning back to his law, statutes, and commandments. Listen, I've been reading this Bible for a long time, man. Not too long. I ain't that old. I've been reading this Bible for a while. And one thing, one common denominator that I've seen in every situation was we were punished because we didn't keep the laws and we were redeemed because we kept the laws. That's one common thing. That's a commonality that I've seen throughout the course of the Bible. Okay, you want to fix your situation? Keep the laws of the Most High. Fear Him. Okay, have faith in Christ. All those things coupled together, you'll have perfect health and peace. Okay, any questions? That's all I got for tonight. Any questions? Pray y'all. Pray y'all got some understanding from that thing. Uh. Pray that thing incited it, it, it would incite y'all to, to, to read a little bit more in depth into these uh, viruses and, and, and bacteria and sicknesses or toxins and all these things that's brought upon our people. Okay. Any questions? Don't see any questions. Let's give him a little, let's give him a second. Give him a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, man. Hey, Aunt Medina John let the cat out the bag, though. <laughs> he let the cat out the bag. He said, oh, we need two things. The first one, we need some aid for all this for all this virus. But secondly, we need to know where y'all manufacture this thing at in this lab. We need to understand the lab where it, where it originated. We need all that information. Okay, he let the cat out the bag. He wasn't playing with them. <laughs> all right, I, I, hey, we could have put up more more articles to show. Hey, these people, these people made this thing up, man. It was a hot mic in the um, in the White House when the news reporters were setting up. If y'all look up hot mic in White House, COVID nineteen, they say they already got a vaccine and all this other stuff, and everybody's been vaccinated. He told, he asked, the "Dude, why you got a mask on?" <laughs> okay. Not saying that it's not deadly. But just showing that it's man, it's a pandemic. All right, no questions. All right, family. Hey, listen. If y'all have any questions throughout the course of the week, if y'all want a topic discussed on on uh, what's going on Tuesdays, okay, hit us up at info at asavisual.org. Let us know. We'll do some in depth research, coupled with the scriptures, okay. We try to we try to uh, shine some light on whatever situations is going on amongst our society. All right. If we don't have any questions, shalom, brothers and sisters, peace and blessings. Hey, if y'all need us, call us, hit us up. It's up on Facebook. Hit us up on uh, on the email. However, y'all need to contact us. We here for y'all, man. All right. And with that, peace and blessings, family. Shalom. Enjoy the rest of y'all nights. Enjoy this week. The Lord's will will see y'all on Friday.
Shalom, Israel, Most High in Christ, bless.